What's great about BSX Insight is that it allows any athlete to conduct an accurate lactate threshold test on their own. You don't need to be a sports scientist to do it. You don't need to be a coach. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to lead James here through a cycling-based lactate threshold test using BSX Insight. There are just a few preliminary steps you need to go through before you start your test. Step one is to download the app onto your device. You're going to open up the app, and you select either a run or a cycling lactate threshold test. You'll answer a short number of preliminary questions that will allow the stages for your test to be set up that match your fitness level. You want to answer the questions in such a way that you're guaranteed to get through at least eight stages of the test. Uh, that's required for accurate results. Uh, but the point is to go to exhaustion, and that may take more than eight steps. Now you need to wake up your sensor by tapping it firmly a couple times, and also pair the app to your power meter. Now James is using a Wahoo kicker, which happens to have the BSX technology built in, so he'll actually be guided through automatically but you can use whatever power sensor you use normally for your workouts. Are you ready to begin, James? Yes. Let's do it. This is the same protocol that exercise scientists use uh, in the laboratory to conduct lactate threshold tests. The difference is that those are invasive. You have to get uh, blood taken out of your fingertips at various steps along the way. The steps themselves are the same. They're three minutes long each. You start off at a very low intensity, when you are asked those initial questions before you start your test, uh, the answers ensure that you start at a level that's a very easy conversational intensity for you. That's kind of your warm up. After three minutes, you're going to bump up to a slightly higher intensity. It's important that you maintain the designated wattage that you're given as closely as possible throughout each stage. Stay relaxed, stay steady, keep your eye on the clock so that when it's time to increase your power level, you're ready to do it, and you adjust to whatever number you see next on your screen. This process continues, again, to the point where you're exhausted. So it does get tough at the end, uh, but it's only tough usually for the last uh, six to nine minutes. Um, and it's a lot easier than some of the time trial type field tests that some athletes uh, do to uh, set up their, their zones and, and as a substitute for lactate threshold testing. So it's easier than doing a race, which allows you to do it fairly frequently without interrupting the flow of your training. And James is halfway through the first stage here. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Now, typically these tests are going to take a total of about 20 to 30 minutes to complete. 30 minutes would be the high end if you're getting through 11 stages or so. So the number there at the top of your screen is obviously the countdown, the time remaining in your current stage. When you get to 10 seconds, uh, you'll get a more obvious countdown letting you know that your wattage is going to have to increase uh, very soon. Now, because you're using the Wahoo kicker, that happens automatically. You'll feel the tension increase up to the next wattage target. Your job is just to maintain a steady effort level through the next stage. Again, they're all three minutes long. You're going to go to the point of exhaustion. You don't know. It's an open loop exercise. You don't know yet uh, what that point is going to be. It might be at the very end of a stage, it could be in the middle of a stage, but when you feel you cannot maintain that target wattage any longer, uh, that's when you bow out, the test is over, and you'll get your results immediately. All right, James, it looks like you're working pretty hard now. We could be coming close to the end point, but you decide. It's really important that you give a race-like, all-out effort, because that's going to give you the most physiologically accurate results. Again, it can be at the end of a stage or in the middle of a stage. Whenever you reach that point when you can't sustain that wattage any longer, go ahead and stop, and then you'll get your results. Nice work, James. Nice work. So we got through 10 stages and a little extra into the 11th. You executed, you did your part, and now BSX Insight is doing it, 